all right so welcome back in this one i want us to look at uh, uh, the parts we're going to be adding these parts in here so we're going to the side which is our back view and then let's turn on the reference image so sometimes yes you miss it a bit like this but it's not really a big deal because it's just reference it's not like we're making it exactly the way it is so if you want you can push yourself to that limit but uh it will be kind of a bit hectic for you so but we can try to be close So that looks good. So now let's make this part here. So I'll select the, oh, move out of edit mode, then select the hue of the shoe. And, oops, my microphone is busy shaking. Okay. So let's select this and go into edit mode. So here where this ends, I want to make a loop cut. So I'll just cut here and let's move it maybe right here. Cut. And then I want to select all these here. Let's go on to the top view. And then holding down shift, let's deselect uh, these parts that we do not need. Oops, looks like it's faces. So let's deselect these faces. And let's go down. It's the same thing. We will deselect these faces. Oops. Push I to bring in close to see what you're doing. Seems like there's something here that I'm selecting though. So oh, there's, there's a loop cut, remember, that we actually made to make this thing like this. So it's okay. Shift D on the keyboard. So we have this thing going with the mouse, push escape, and then P on the keyboard. So on selection, just click there. So we have a new layer here. So we'll move out of the object mode and then go into this new object. My daughter is a noisy one. I don't know if you can hear her, but she's excited. Anyway, so let's go into edit mode for this one. And what I want to do is make another loop cut here at the end. Drag this up to the end, like right there. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Drag this and up to the end right there. And then now we need to add the solidify. I was supposed to move out of this to add the solidify and the solidify will come on top and then let's just thicken this so it's going inside let's put it on the outside oops let me just turn off this reference i think i was supposed to delete that layer that was here okay so let me just cancel this solidify oops my bad undo I'm supposed to cancel the solidify which is down here go into edit mode and now i want to select loop of this so if i delete this and i say vertices i'll lose that layer that line and then if i come down here and i do the same select all this then delete then i say vertices so i remain with that and now uh, deselect so this one add a solidify to this okay and let's take it to the top and now let's make it thick All right, so let's go to the top view. And I want to stretch this. So I'll stretch it, bring it in like this. 
so the front part should be in like that and then let's make it a bit bigger all right and another thing is i want to move it down not too much though okay this looks a bit weird for now let's just go into the edit mode and control r on the keyboard and then add an edge loop on top right there to create a sharp edge do the same thing on the bottom to create a sharp edge like that and now if we select all of it we can actually stretch this take it down oops okay let's go into let's move out of edit mode and then let's just take it down okay and let's move it up okay that's a bit too much let's see let's make it let's stretch it again okay you know you know what apply this and now if I go into edit mode I can actually have more control over this so I'll select this edge and select it then just pull it down I feel like I was having a lot of trouble with just that line so x-ray and if I select that okay so if I can pull it down alright so I want it to be almost on the same level with this let's see if I bring everything back I want to see how this actually looks like here in the front so to unhide everything it's alternate H on the keyboard so alternate H okay let me just hide the images because they're just everywhere so it's a bit too much so we we'll need to fix this let's go into edit mode now go to the top view we'll start from there let's just select all and just move it in okay move out of edit mode let's see what we have okay it looks like the thickness is okay everywhere select all and i can move it just a bit like that and now we also have this part where it looks like it's a bit too high it's higher than the shoe so select this go into the back which is our side x-ray and okay let me go into point mode so let's select some of these points just move them in Okay, if I go to the top view now, while in edit mode, I go to the top view. I can also select some of these and then fix them myself. Just move them the way I want them. Move it in. Select these and then just move them in okay so move out of x-ray oh move out of edit mode and x-ray as well and we have that uh don't worry too much about how this part looks like because we are going to put a rubber going around like this because we'll have a rubber that will go around here that will hide most of these parts so do not worry yourself too much uh one more 
let me fix this one more time the saw itself go into edit mode we'll go on top then edit mode i can actually select this and just move it in oops make sure in x-ray mode and select all this then just move it in because it was like it was protruding a bit okay so let's move out of x-ray mode and look at what we have that looks good so we are good to go what are you doing mommy you're also clicking okay so now we need to do the same thing at the back of the shoe all right all right so we need to do the same thing at the back now so let's go to the back of the shoe turn on the image and let's go to our back which is the side then turn on x-ray so we have this thing here a sticker so let's select the heel of the sole of the shoe go into edit mode and we'll select uh, this here let's see how big that is well it looks a bit too big for me so let me move out of this x-ray mode let me just select in face mode select this face and this that face duplicate okay we'll leave it there so deselect which is oh escape and then p and selection so i've created something new here and now if i'm actually you can actually click these here and then it will actually take you to that view so here i want to go into edit mode for that one so i'll leave this edit mode select my new uh plane and then go into edit mode remember to save and i'll select this part Oops, make sure you are in edge or point so you can select these points here E for extender and you can actually push Y we'll do the same thing so solidify and I'll move it up and let's increase so it's in the negative since it's going out and that to me that looks like good thickness so it looks too round for now well let's go into edit into just turn off this image for now let me move this a bit down and i think i'll need to extend this a bit more so let's extend it just here that looks good let's see it from this side this angle let's lift this up all right so now control r and make that look cut right there and do the same thing down here and we can also do the same thing on the sides yeah so we can select these and then just move them down then we can try to follow the heel all right let's move out of edit mode turn the x-ray off it's a bit too thick so we can actually reduce it from here that's the advantage with adding a modifier here and that looks good so let's zoom out okay so if i select or oh, just push the dot on your number pad the full stop on your number pad and we can see everything centers save and catch me in the next video